While the estimated number of wealthy people continues to increase steadily, a lot of ordinary folks are being left behind. If you're one of these people, it probably means that you're not doing something right. But hopefully, I'll change that today. By the end of this video, you'll know about all the best channels which you can use to build wealth. So, stay tuned. Number 1. Educate yourself first. If we ever want to change our financial status, you must begin with our mindset. You can start adjusting your mindset by becoming acquainted with the basics of financing. It's crazy that some people are employed but are still clueless about some basic concepts, like how to file their taxes. While some people choose to ignore this or think they can just get someone to do it for them, this is the wrong approach. Familiarizing yourself, or at the very least knowing how to file your own taxes, is a good idea. Also, acquaint yourself with these basic terms. Income, expenses, net worth, return on investment, passive income, financial independence, and so on. In addition, read all the books you can find which are related to finance. If reading is not your thing, you can listen to podcasts or anything that'll make you financially aware. The point is to never stop learning. While in the process, you should also be cautious, because the internet has all kinds of information. While some are true, others are misleading. If you want to find out the best information, a good bet is to check out all the successful investors. Follow their social media pages and blogs, because they should have some pretty insightful things to tell you. Number 2. Get a regular income source first. If you want to become wealthy one day and you don't come from money, then friend, you better have a plan. The thing is, you can't just wake up and decide that you want to start accumulating your wealth. First, you'll need a game plan, which should factor in your source of income, whether that will be a regular job or a hustle. Once you've saved up enough, you should then start researching ways in which you can grow what you've saved into something substantial. This might mean investing in the stock market, starting a business, or getting education and certification for a high income skill. Whichever one you choose, make sure you're also mentally prepared for it, potentially not working out, and having to start all over again. But before I move to the next point, if you're enjoying the content so far, be sure to give this video a thumbs up for that YouTube algorithm, and subscribe if you're new here. Number 3. Make a budget and stick to it. For some reason, some people think that it's unpopular to have a budget. That having a budget and setting a limit on your spending is being too strict on yourself. However, what they fail to see is that budgeting has a plethora of benefits. First, you'll become disciplined and stop yourself from overspending on things that aren't a priority. This can certainly help you to build your savings and eventually your wealth. Personally, I use the 50-30-20 rule, which is quite simple yet effective. 50% of my earnings goes to my essentials like rent, food, or health care. 30% goes to my needs like shopping or entertainment and 20% goes to my savings. By planning your income this way, you'll find your wealth growing steadily each month. In fact, it'll seem quite effortless. The main point of budgeting is to reduce your spending and maximize your saving. It's pretty much like trading one thing for the other, with the only difference being that saving is way more beneficial than spending. If you want to find out more, I made a guide which talks about all this and more, which you can get for free using the link in the description. Number 4. Build an Emergency Fund Imagine this scenario. You have an early 2000 Toyota Corolla, which for several years has served you well. However, it's getting old now, and it's starting to develop a couple problems now. It's your only car and you rely on it a lot for work and commuting. If anything bad were to happen to it, you wouldn't know where the money would come from to replace it. But one day the worst does happen and your car breaks down. The repair bill is enormous, and you aren't sure where the money is going to come from. Your only choices are selling an investment to pay for the repair or go into debt, which you will have to pay high interest on. I'm guessing you're probably frowning right now because these are not the best options in the world. If you want to avoid such stressful decisions, you'll have to build yourself an emergency fund. Life can be very unpredictable. For example, in the car example I just talked out, if your car broke down in the middle of nowhere and you've got no insurance, here's where the emergency fund would have come in and saved the day. This is just a fund you ought to keep that will help you in times of unplanned situations that require urgent funding. Although some wise investors have already taken that step and now have an emergency fund, they sometimes forget that a good emergency fund should be able to take you through 6 to 12 months of living expenses. The need for such a fund was made clear for a lot of people during the recent pandemic, when many lost their jobs and had no form of income. Once you've started building your emergency fund, you can just put it in your savings account where it'll be easier to access if the need arises. 
Number 5. Invest Money Now that you've built yourself an emergency fund, it's safe for you to start investing so that your money can start growing. There are a variety of options where you can choose to invest your money, but first you'll have to do your homework because you wouldn't want to invest in something you'll not be able to keep up with. You can begin by investing in stocks by buying them on the stock exchange. And if you didn't know, owning stock is almost like having a piece of the company, and you'll profit from the slightest rise in the price of shares, as well as dividends that'll be paid out. Although they are at times riskier than bonds, their risks vary depending on the corporation. If you're not comfortable with stocks, you can choose bonds. These act like IOUs, which is an informal document acknowledging debt, from a company or government. Technically, if you buy bonds, the issuer always gives you their word to give back the money with a profit on top after a certain period. You'll also have to do proper research on the types of bonds you're taking to avoid any surprises. Get to know the bond rating agencies assigned. Alternatively, you could go for mutual funds. This simply means you buy a pool of securities. Most of the time, it includes stocks, bonds, or a mixture of both. Although mutual funds are quite risky, they also bear very good rewards in the end. What you'll need to be aware of as a young investor is that all three work well but are still risky. All it takes is the right time to invest. Number 6. Automate your financial life Most of us are familiar with how stressful handling money can be. From the bills and debts to savings and investments, it sometimes feels like it's too much. At times, we tend to spend the money we weren't supposed to or end up forgetting to pay certain bills because we're too busy. Luckily for you, there are a couple of ways to get this done automatically. Many financial advisors would suggest that you have a fixed percentage that is deducted from your salary each month to cover your debts, savings, and investments. If you activate this feature, there's no payday that will go by without you distributing it equally. The more you do this, the more you'll get used to it, and eventually you won't even notice the money you've saved from your salary. Pretty genius, don't you think? It's a perfect example of working smart and not hard. Number 7. Increase your retirement savings Steadily saving money is an amazing way to compound your wealth into fortunes. This is often very evident to most individuals who save up for retirement. Some very common ways to do so are by using the 401k plan or the IRA. The 401k account is one that is given by the employer to help save the employee's salary for retirement. Most of the time, the money is put into good use through bonds, mutual funds, stocks, guaranteed investment contracts, target date funds, or your employer's stock. With this plan in play, you can contribute a percentage of your salary that will be used as an investment, which is later put into your retirement fund. The best thing about the 401k plan is that you can choose when to be taxed, whether at the beginning or after you withdraw when retired. The other one is the Roth IRA, which is a tax-advantaged retirement account to which you can contribute money with reduced taxes. The reason I'd recommend that you go for the Roth IRA is that the money won't be taxed when you withdraw it in retirement. The only requirement is that you have to be at least 59 years of age. Also keep in mind that withdrawal of the retirement amount before the retirement age always carries a penalty. Number 8. Stay diversified Ever heard the proverb, never put all your eggs in one basket? You see, this simple proverb has a much deeper meaning to it. From a business perspective, it simply means that you shouldn't invest all your money in one place. I know some people may say that you'll have more if you invest all your money in one place, but these types of people haven't really thought about your financial security. It's not a surprise that some businesses fail or that the market falls drastically, but it'll be a shock if that happens and you put all your money on the losing end. The best way to stay safe is by putting your money in different investment sectors, so that in case of a loss, you'll still have something to keep you going. Number 9. Explore Passive Income Ideas If you really want to build your wealth, then you need to think more about how you'll build it even further. It's okay if you've got a job that pays you well, but if you're being true to yourself, you should ask yourself, is that all you need? I already knew the answer to that, so do this. Find yourself a job that will make you some money even as you sleep, something that doesn't require your full attention. There are plenty of options currently, like blog posting, marketing, selling digital products, and dropshipping. The best and most profitable way to earn a passive income is by investing in real estate. Although it sounds like easy money, passive income jobs also require some serious attention, and some need very large amounts of capital, especially at the start. If you find yourself a way to earn some passive income, I bet you'll be better off than the few who depend on their full-time job. Number 10. Use RoboAdvisor Managing businesses can sometimes be challenging, especially for those who lack all the knowledge. Luckily for everyone's sake, nobody should struggle with their bond ETFs or IRAs, because now there are specialists for that. The robo-advisor simply gathers information for their clients through online surveys and makes the necessary investments on their behalf. 
Despite the fact that many people don't trust these guys, they usually make the correct investment decisions. Once you've mastered all these, you can proceed and consider the channels rich people follow to grow their wealth. It makes no difference if you have a nice job that pays well. Aim for more. If you found this video interesting, you might really like this one, which talks about ways in which you can double your money. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tips on how to improve your finances. Until next time, take care.